What's up guys, Omega here and welcome back to GT7 for some of the dirtiest driving I've ever seen. And it is caused by this gentleman, who I believe would put some of the Call of Duty professionals to shame with his KD ratio. So this is the name of the person. My webcam was in the way, so I didn't get the full name. But if you see this guy, be warned. Here in the post-race lobby, he's seen taunting somebody. If you want some, I'll give it you. I'm gonna put that guy in the video. And you'll see later in the video why that is pretty crazy. So, here we go. Starting off, this gentleman is warming up his tyres to cause some absolute chaos within this lobby. So, as we start heading to the first corner, and the first victim is actually going to be myself. So, I get rear-ended there, and I recover quite okay. He deservedly gets a three second penalty there. A few moments later. And we move on a bit and you can see he brake checks and then I go to go for the overtake, but I do know what he's gonna do, so I back out, which kind of puts him off a little bit. And then it's just complete and utter chaos. Complete and utter chaos. I went off there in the background. People have penalties. It is just pure and total carnage. These guys have already had enough, so they're just ramming him, or he's breaking very early and forcing them to ram into him. I'm not too sure what's going on, but as you can see, it is just unbelievable. I don't know what's going on in this guy's life for him to have to want to do this. Maybe this is how he enjoys the game, I have no idea. So moving forward, he serves his penalty. Some people get past. One minute, 37 seconds later. And then moving forward, he's brake checking somebody again. And this just goes on throughout the whole course of the race. And this is what is so bizarre about it. So this person got a penalty for that, right? And you can see it's just continuing. And at this point, I actually get just in front of him. And in the race, I am just wanting the guy in front to make sure he's moving right along so that I don't get hit by this guy. So I go for an overtake here. Quite a smooth overtake, if I may say so myself. And both of these guys serve a penalty caused by that guy. You can see it's just continuing the carnage. The absolute devastation for this lobby. Uh, brake checking, swerving into people. It's absolutely crazy. I don't know how someone gets away with this, to be honest. But yeah, it's just so crazy to me. You see here that these guys both get annihilated. I think this guy took him out, so let's take a quick look at that again from a couple of cars back. <laughs> you can see he's just been absolutely hammered. So, you know. And here, he kind of gets outsmarted. The guy, I think, knows he's going to brake check him, so he goes around the outside, but really he just swerves into him. And then, complete and utter anarchy has broken out. Nobody knows what's happening, where to go. It's just absolutely crazy so there you go another penalty caused by him that person luckily escapes into the pits so now you can see his pit crew just standing there stunned they don't know what to do he gets a little smack from the stick the pit crew says that's very naughty boy don't do that again and he says oh, okay yeah right no worries and as we leave the pits here you will see the next victim so this is actually where things really start to kick off and this is the person who was taunting in the post-race chat. So you'll see there, this fella unfortunately picks up another penalty. And this will go on for, well basically till the end of the race. He's just brake checking this guy, swerving and trying to ram him off. So I don't know, have you guys come across him? Apparently he's quite infamous within the Oceanic region. 
and I have had a Japanese driver come into the chat before and say that he's a well-known Japanese troll driver but this is my I think this is actually my second experience with him but I wasn't aware of how bad it actually was until this race and then I watched the replay back after someone had told me about him so yeah I just thought it was pretty crazy and pretty funny in a way because it's just how ridiculous it is but it's so frustrating for people who are trying to do well you know and here you can see that this guy serves a penalty and the fella in front is slowing down waiting for him just uh, I don't I don't understand what goes through someone's mind but you know it's um Unfortunately, we do run into these people. So like I said, it just continues like this for basically the entire race. He's just out to cause carnage and people are getting penalties left, right and centre because of his actions. And I've also been a victim of these penalties, which is very annoying when you get them. So... But yeah, as you can see, it just continues on and on. He does not let up. Does not let up at all. And you would think surely that someone like this, that it's not a mistake or anything like that, you know, and they still, they don't get banned, they don't get anything really. It doesn't seem like they do. So it's very unfortunate for players who are trying to better themselves and have good races and you know work their DR and SR up. It just becomes very frustrating. And so continuing on with the rampage, if you want to call it that, of the Japanese gentleman who has some serious issues, I believe. But yeah, this guy seems to have popped it the worst out of anyone in the race. He has gone out of his way to make this guy's life a misery on the track. And I actually recovered quite well in this race. So I think I ended up coming fifth, which wasn't too bad, considering I got that shunt off the first corner. And went on to have a pretty good race, but I do believe that it's partly because of, well not partly, probably a big part of it is because this guy was just wreaking havoc on the rest of the lobby. You'll see here, <laughs> this guy is just, it, he doesn't know what to do, what can you do here, really, with this sort of thing. So yeah, he loses control, and then the guy continues to taunt him, menace him, and here you see that he gets him, and you think... He's going to escape, finally. He's getting away. Great stuff, awesome. But now, the problem is that this fella has now bought into it. So yeah, unfortunately, it feeds into the problem. But, you know, you don't, I can't blame the guy because you'd just be so annoyed, you know? So, what can you do? And the fact that it just goes on for the whole race is beyond me. I have no idea why you would do this, but like I said, I guess it's each to their own. So if that's how they get enjoyment out of the game, then I guess whatever. But yes, it does make it very unpleasant for some people. And this is why some people choose not to race online. So. And here you can see that our man finally breaks loose and seems like he's getting away again. Will he get away this time? But unfortunately for our boy, he does have a penalty, so he catches him up again. And you can see that he's getting blue flagged here. And luckily for Metagear there, 
he is ghosted because he's a lap behind. But he did try to ruin Meta's race. So you know Meta's winning and having a good race and this guy is adamant on just ruining whoever's race that he can. You would think there's one more lap to go but because they are behind and Meta has just finished in front of them there, this is actually the last lap and you will now see the damage to the poor Nissan. He's just completely annihilated it. If you did enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.